Hey ladies, it's Susan with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a card to share with you today. Um, this is one of my Stamp and Share segments. Today we're going to be making a card with festive phrases. Um, I guess I originally designed it as a Valentine's Day card, but it really could be any sort of love themed card. It says, To You With Love. Um, I'm going to pair it with the uh, Sunshine Wishes framelit where we get this lovely heart. So I'm going to use that on there. I'm also using our paper doilies, um, our black crocheted ribbon, which is in the holiday catalog. Hopefully they'll keep that in the next catalog going. That's really kind of cute. And I'm also using the black rhinestones. So let's just go ahead and I'll show you how I put this together. And then if you want to case it or if you want to purchase a kit and make it uh, with your own stamps, you're welcome to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have a basic black card base. Sometimes I do that and then I just line it with um, a neutral. So I'm going to fold that in half, give that a score. So for the inside I have a piece of Whisper White and then I had a piece of Scrap DSP which is from the Merry Little Christmas bundle of designer series paper. And I'm just going to use that to line the bottom. I do that a lot with my scrap pieces because you get those uh, one and a half or three quarter inch um, strips when you're cutting your paper down to card size. And so this is a nice way to use them up and then you don't have all that scrap. But it also ties it in to the front of the card. So that's kind of nifty. So we're going to get this one done on the inside first. Just so we can get some of these pieces out of the workspace. Okay, so there's our inside. Now let's make the front a little more entertaining. <clears throat> so I'm using rose red as my pinky color, my rosy color. And I have another piece of this lovely um, patterned paper. I love the black and white. So this I'm just putting onto my rose red. And I've only got about an eighth of an inch uh, mounting edge. So I'm going to be careful when I put that down that I get it down evenly. Okay, so there's that. Now, what I'm going to do is stamp the stamp with our rose red ink. So I'm just going to press that into my pad. And I'm stamping on vellum. Now you might remember when you stamp on vellum it's a little bit slippery and it's not as porous as our cardstock. So we have to let that dry or you need to heat set it with your heat tool. So I've already gone ahead and taken another one to the Big Shot and cut it with my oval framelits. So this is going to make part of our embellishment. So just make sure when you're stamping on vellum you really let it dry. Okay, so now I'm going to attach my oval to my doily. So I'm just going to run some snail behind the word. And I'm placing that there. Now, you might notice on this card, my doily goes right to the edge. So what I'm going to do for placement, because I don't want to put this piece down yet, is I'm going to hold this down without adhering it. And then I'm going to put this on like so. So I'm going to flip this over and put some adhesive on there. Flip it back over and place it so that I'm going to be within the boundaries of my card so I don't have problems with fitting it in my envelope but I can extend over that pink a little bit. Make sense? Alright, good. So now we're going to add our uh, I've got about six inches here of the ribbon and so I'm going to snail on the back side of my cardstock here which is going to end up on the front of my card but I'm going to use that to tack down the ribbon. So I just lay this across. I'm kind of positioning mine under the word love. And I just kind of take it around the back side and press it into that snail. So I have mine coming down at a little bit of an angle, which is kind of nifty. Nothing ever has to be completely squared off. And then, because I've already got that adhesive on there, I'm going to press that to the front of my card. So sometimes I flip it over and give it like a press this way just so that way all the pieces get stuck together. Alright, so there's that. So now we just have this last little embellishment. 
So in my kit, I had a piece of two and three quarters by two and three quarters, which I then cut on the Big Shot with my die, like I said, from Sunshine Wishes. And you might see it or might not see it, but I have a piece of um, wax paper in there. I find with some of these intricate dies still, even though I have the impression cutting plate, that um, I still use that vellum for these really intricate little pieces. And so that helps me get that out. So I've already cut that. Now I'm going to use my liquid glue to adhere this. And I only need a little dab in a couple of places. So I'm going to put a little down here. And some along in this part. Like you'll find some bigger pieces. I know it's pretty fine uh, heart. But you'll find some bigger pieces where you can adhere that glue and then I'm just putting that down overlapping all my embellished pieces press that down a little bit until that adhesive adheres to the paper below okay and then I'm just going to pull in one of the larger black rhinestones and add that as a little added bonus and there we go there's our card so pretty quick um, lots of really fun embellishments um, and like I said, this is a stamp and share card. So what that means is all my details, including the video and the recipe instructions, are on my blog, posted to Pinterest, on Facebook. So easy to find. Um, or you can just shoot me an email and say, hey, I saw this video. Can I have the details? I'm happy to do that, too. Um, but stamp and share. So I do like a product share. So if you want to make this kit at home, whether you have this stamp set or another stamp set, maybe you just really love the embellishments and layout, maybe you have a different stamp you want to use there, or just change it up a little bit to make it your own, um, you can purchase from me a product share kit. So I'll send you all the basic pieces I started with, and then you can make your card. So if you're interested in that, contact me, and we'll get you all set up for that. Um, I do that while my supplies last. Um, I don't reserve them. So the sooner you get to me on that, uh, the better. So I hope you enjoyed this little stamp and share. Um, I hope you're enjoying our fall holiday catalog. It's going to be ending the beginning of January. We'll have a new occasions catalog out along with our celebration catalog. So we'll be uh, watching for more information about all the goings on at Stampin' Up. And until next time, ladies, have a beautiful day and happy stampin'.